Hi everyone, welcome to The Laughing Narwhal. My name is Eve and today we're going to be playing Detective Grimoire again. So it's been a while since I last played and I actually forgot what I did last, so I have to go back in the video and see what I did. And I just found that photo of that weird frog it dude, this guy. This boggy, that's his name. <laughs> frog it. Oh my god, I'm playing too much Undertale. But wait, what is this? What does this mean? Suspect? Okay, well, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna go this way, I guess. Boggy's Bog Museum. It's a stepping stone path that goes past the museum and into the woods. So glad I'm wearing my best shoes today. But why would you do that? Who thought that was a good idea? I don't think it's a window, but this hatch is shut at the moment. I can't see inside. This side of the museum is surrounded by blue and red flowers. Okay. It's a stepping stone. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's a stepping stone. Oh so my god! That museum is quite a nice building. Which makes it look even more out of place in the swamp. Is it it's tilted. Out of wooden supports? It's bizarre. Yeah. That museum is quite a nice building. Which is it? Oh god. Which makes is it? Can I just Doors jammed unless I can get these brass yeah, handles, handles out of the way. Out of the way. Seems like I can rotate them around just until the gap in the middle is clear. What? Oh. Oh. What in the world? That top hat guy would have so struggled with this one. What the hell? I don't know what I just said. Hmm. I'd better take a look at this. Oh, cutscene. That's an alien. This journal. Huh. It's full of drawings and notes all about Boggy. What's the Boggy Museum? What did you expect? It seems to be the centerpiece of the entire museum. It says it on the front. For God's sake, get your shit together. Journal recorded 60 years ago by the explorer who first visited the swamp. The only record of Boggy existing contains notes and sketches on the appearance of the squamp, swamp creature. Squamp. Uh, Boggy is shown with three small claws on each arm. That one's giving me the finger. This one right here is giving me the fucking finger. I'll fuck you too. Boggy's feet are always hidden in the water. There seems to be a page ripped from the back. Some educational facts about swamps. Did you know swamps are gross? Yes, yes I did. I wouldn't know. It's a poster from the old Boggy cartoon show. Oh, this is cute. That that's a lot of Roman numerals. I don't, I always forget what M and C mean. Like <laughs> past like the X, I's and V's, that's all I know. There's a little door in the wall here. I think it leads outside. It's locked, though. These are skulls? Oh, they're just models. Creepy models. I think they're pretty cool. Apparently, this is the exact hat worn by the explorers 60 years ago. Bullshit. And it seems everyone is destined to lose a hat or two in this damn swamp. Alright, because I lost my hat. I really haven't played this in a while. Oh, my Let God. Let me guess. You don't work here, do you? I wonder if that makes you the first tourist I've seen today. You're incorrect, detective. I am no mere tourist. How yeah. did you know I was a detective? Was it my stylish trench coat? My sensitive, inquisitive manner? It was the clueless expression on your face. What ah. are you talking about? Sick yes. burn. Right. That's it. You've done it now. What's your name? I go by Folder. Agent what Folder. The fuck? What are you doing? Oh. oh, these are all awful answers. I'm writing bad things about you in my notebook. I'm doing a drawing of your beautiful face. I'm writing in my diary. It's been a long day. All of these are awful. I'm this writing one. bad things about you in my notebook. Is that, is that it? Is that it? So, if you're not a tourist, 
And you don't work here. I am a scholar, an academic. I'm here to research the past and uncover the future. So, you're visiting the museum for fun. Fun! <laughs> Well, there's nothing so simple as fun to be had here. I come to this museum night and day to study its secrets. Ah, okay. what kind of secrets? It's just a museum about Boggy, right? The Swamp Creature. He's one of the most intriguing modern examples of cryptozoology. A fascinating combination of scientific fact and wild speculation. I'm with you on the speculation front. Although, come to think of it, People have been hinting that I should find out about the history of this creature. A wise suggestion. And you've come to the right person. My knowledge far exceeds anyone else you might have met so far. So, okay. you'll help me? I suppose I could divulge some of my findings with you. If you're in the mood for a little light reading, let me find it for you. Oh, yeah, this'll do. Something for uh, beginners, at least. Okay. Information about Boggy, collected by Agent Folder. Boggy swamps became a protected area after reports of hunting in the area. Boggy's appearance has changed from the original sketches in which he has three claws on each arm. The modern character has simple fin-like arms instead to make him less threatening. No footprints were recorded in the journal, but some experts believe that information is out there somewhere. So, Mr. Folder. Agent Folder. Yeah, uh, were you here yesterday? What were you doing last night? I was here, in the museum, going through my files one final time before disappearing into the night. Don't museums usually close in the evenings? They do. I've never been one to worry about other people's schedules. I come and go as I please. There's a key to every lock, detective. You oh, broke in? So you have the key to the museum? Of course I don't. Why would you think that? Well, I... <laughs> Once again, that clueless expression. I use a lockpick and get in through the small side door. <gasps> I have a right to be here, you see. Remington has no business locking me out, so I don't let him. You just admitted to breaking the law. If everyone did that, my job would be a lot easier. It's not my best lockpick. This new one's cheap. I used to own one, a superior model. Unfortunately, I misplaced it in one of the darker corners of the swamp, so I don't... I'm writing down your confession about sneaking around here at night. Then what are you gonna do? Report me to Remington? Good luck, my friend. I need to pick my questions carefully. Ha ha. Very punny. Okay, well. Let's see. Ah, uh, ooh. It's been there for years. Might belong to Mr. Harper. Lockpick. I found it near Remington's body. The lockpick. Oh, I found hey! Near I did much better body. this time. I had so much trouble with Agent it before. Folder. As far as I know, Agent Folder is experienced with lockpicks. I wonder if he's hiding something. Uh, challenge unlocked. Challenge start. I have a bone to pick with you. Are you setting yourself up for a joke? Something about a lockpick? Maybe. Who knows? Stop distracting me. Uh, I'm trying it. to interrogate you. My apologies. Go ahead. So, what are we showing Folder now? Oh, it's our first time presenting a clue. I guess... Where lockpick. did I find this again? Where did you find this again? Oh, shit. Uh, clearing outside office. Path clearing. I found a lockpick at the yeah. scene of the crime. Oh, apparently you did. Why does this concern me? You already admitted to owning a lockpick and using it to open locked doors. You said Remington always carried a lockpick with him. You were at the scene, scene of the crime yesterday and might know who dropped it. You already admitted to owning one of these and how you're ever so happy to come and go as you please with it, am I right? Be honest. Luckily for me, Detective, I was honest with you. I believe I have already explained that second lockpick before you even found it. You lost your lockpick in the swamp and had to buy a new one. You let Remington borrow your lockpick before he died. He left your lockpick by Remington's office yesterday. You lost your lockpick in the swamp and had to buy a new one. That's right. I appreciate you finding it for me. 
However, I won't ask for it back. Apparently, it has since become some diabolical instrument in the art of murder. Yeah, it's an important piece of evidence. Is, is that it? Is that it? So, if you're not a tourist, and you don't work here... I am a scholar, an academic. I'm here to research the past and uncover... So, Mr. Folder. Agent Folder. Yeah, uh, were you here yesterday? What were you doing last night? I was here, in the museum. I have a bone to pick with... Okay, anyway. I'm gonna cut all of that out. I have no fucking clue what just happened. Okay. Let's all go this way. Oh, this is new. The rock path leading back towards the museum. Okay. This staircase is a tree. tree. And tree. this tree is a staircase. And this place is so weird. Yes, it is. It's like a little forest back here. Up. Oh, let's see. Oh. It feels like I've stepped into nighttime. What happened to the sun? Someone please tell me why there's a house here. Yes, explain. Well, the lights are on. Maybe somebody's home. The latch is broken on the door. Seems I can fix it with those three cogs if I just put them uh, in the right puzzles. place. Once they're on okay. the right pins, I can move the handle at the bottom to try and open the door. Open the door. Sorry, it's, uh, I'm not talking much because it's kind of hard to figure out since this game has audio. Since this game has audio, it's kind of hard for me to figure out exactly how exactly I should commentate on it. It. Perfect. Go. Oh. I am amazing. I am amazing. Sorry, that's a lie. I, I'm really bad at figuring out gear puzzles. But anyway, as I was saying, I'm not really good at commentating when there's all this actual voiced-over dialogue. So. I apologize, I'm still in the learning process, but it's it's been really fun. I'm figuring indoors. This stuff out. What a treat. Some the crazy owner of this house lady. seems to enjoy reading. Though I'm not sure what else there is to do up here actually. Looks like you can knit! There's a whole load of needles and wool on that shelf. Or should I say yarn? I just don't know anymore. What's the difference? This is like an oven? Or is it just a boiler? Uh, it's so old-fashioned, it hurts my brain. Someone's pretentious. Check out that sunlight beaming through the window. <clears throat> it's so bright I should have brought my sunglasses. A little blanket on a little bed in a little house. <coughs> it makes very little sense. I don't know what's going on. I'm indoors. <laughs> oh. You just walked straight into my house, did you? Not exactly. I had to pay. I had to climb up here first. I paid to. I'm paid to walk into people's houses. Sorry, I would have rung the bell. Not exactly. I had to climb up here first. Normally, I have methods for dealing with unwanted attention, but I can make Why exceptions her for harmless idiots. She's just like. Do you get any attention up here? <laughs> Most of the time, people like to leave me alone. But I don't think you're going to, are you? Oh, she's got boobage. No. Um, oh my. I could make an excuse and say it's my job to ask you about last night, but to be honest, I climbed all the way up here and I just like being indoors. Well, <laughs> if you insist on staying, I'll tell you. I'm Lady Waybridge, and I Lady think you Waybridge. might be climbing up the wrong trees. I'm Detective Grimoire, ah. and I think I might agree with you. What do you do here? Did you work for Richard Remington? I was living here before that man was even born. 
And I have absolutely nothing to do with him. Or his little tourist attraction. You're exaggerating. How long have you been here? Just in this treehouse? What do you do up here? I've been here longer than anyone. She's Even a witch! Longer than... Well, anyone. I, I She's like a witch. numbers. 60 years, something like that. What have you been doing for that time? If you don't mind me asking. I have many reasons to be here. She just keeps throwing her head but around. I won't bore you with all the details Detail of, my life. of my life. I'm sure there's one detail worth writing down. I like to study the plants and flowers in this area. I've learned many things from them. You're a botanist. What about this little chemistry set you've got on your table? I wouldn't call it a chemistry set. But if you bring me an object that has liquid on it, or inside it, I'll tell you what that liquid consists of. Wow. How do you do oh. that? Chemistry. <laughs> Page from Weybridge's Book of Pressed Flowers. Contains information about all the flowers in the swamp and where they grow. The green and red species only grow around the side door of the museum and can't be found anywhere else. Okay. Your job is to ask me about what happened last night. Do you even know what happened last night? I know more than you might imagine. Ooh, no, be dramatic. that sounds Music useful. Change. Can you tell me? What were you doing? I was here, in my house, by myself. Mm -hmm. Ooh, she had a freaky look in her eyes just now. That's it. Thanks. Just give me a minute to write all this down. Hey, is that it? Present a clue. Why is this tripping? Let's see. Liquid sample collected from Lockpick. First thing we do is put the sample of liquid into the <coughs> cauldron, then tap okay. the faucet. Okay. Just have to match the color of that liquid with these ingredients. Got it! Got it! Now I know what that liquid consists of. I'll write it down in my notes. Is that it? You can put that away. I can't help you with it. Okay. I have nothing good to say about that man. So I won't say anything at all. I don't know to what extent I can talk to people or talk to these characters. It's, it's kind of hard to figure out how far they went with the character dialogue, so, I don't know. Wait, why did I end up that way? Uh, oh. Predictably, a trash can, and I just can't resist taking a look inside. The glamorous life of a detective. My okay. favorite part of the job. Maybe there's something underneath the trash. I have to move the trash around. Oh, Hello, what's this? Just a piece of paper? Or something more sinister? Anything else? Nope. Nope. Armageddon, my revenge. Armageddon, my revenge. Armageddon, my revenge. These look like designs for a boggy costume. What's going on around here? Flippers. I'm Are telling you, it was all a hoax. Swamp creature here?
costume design, oh, I found the trash can experience what Burl's black and white photo is showing me. My detective's intuition is kicking in. That black and white photograph, I'm not sure I'm looking at the real Boggy here. And well, I think duh. these designs I found in the trash can might be the answer. I'll ask huh? around, see if anybody knows anything about this. Oh, and I should start looking for the costume itself. If I can find that, there'll be some pretty impressive evidence. Chapter 2. Oh, well, I guess this is a good stopping point. I was thinking about stopping here anyway, but... Since we're on, we just finished chapter one, I might as well cut it off here. Uh, so far, I like how the game is going. I like the um, voice acting, I like the music and stuff. Puzzles, they're pretty easy so far. I suspect that they will get a little bit more difficult as time wears on. Um, I don't know, it's kind of hard to figure out how, to f how I feel about this game. I don't know how much progression I can get or at least how much reaction I can get out of each character. It doesn't seem like there's many um, dialogue options like some other games. Like I know Phoenix Wright, you can present a bunch of things and they have certain things to say about it. It may not be super relevant, but there is a lot of dialogue there rather than, oh, I can't help you with this, you should put that away. So it's a little bit disappointing that they didn't go a little bit further with the dialogue progression, but oh well, it is it is what it is. But I'm excited to see what chapter two holds. Chapter one so far, I guess it gives me a taste of what the game is going to be like, but I hope it gets a little bit more exciting. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me, and I will see you guys later. Peace out, Bean Sprouts. Of course it's on this side. Why would it not be on the other side? Fuck that. Twenty monsters already? Are you fucking kidding me? No, 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 no,